you think bullying can't affect your kids, you might be surprised because bullying can pretty much affect kids at any age. And here to break it all down by age, we have local pediatrician, Dr. Natasha Bergert, and also we have bullying expert and author, Sue Ellen Freed, to kind of break this all down because I know the signs, the symptoms, parent reactions really vary by how old your kids are. So let's talk about preschoolers first. We're talking about kids before they start kindergarten. And I think a lot of parents think a three or four year old can't be bullied. Is that true, Dr. Natasha? We do see kids that young that are bullies, and we do think we do see those kids that are bullied. And no matter if you're a preschooler or if you're a middle schooler or if you're a high schooler, typically that bullying behavior is going to have the same characteristics. They're going to be picking on the kid repetitively. It's going to be very deliberately in it, deliberate in its intent, and it's going to deliberately be causing harm. You have been studying bullying for a very long time. Yes. Well, one of my favorite stories is about some three and four year olds in a daycare situation and a little boy was sitting there playing and a little girl came up to put her little hands on her hips and said, your mother's not going to come get you today, which immediately caused that little boy to just absolutely dissolve into deep sobs. And another three and a half year old girl came over and stood in front of him and said, your mother came and picked you up yesterday and she came and picked you up the day before and your mother's going to come get you today. Oh. And what I love about that story is what you have to know those parents did to prepare that witness to behave that way. So she had empathy but she knew how to comfort and she knew how to reason. All of us parents out there would hope our child would be the one that responds yes. that way, but unfortunately that's not gonna always be the case. Let's talk about once kids do go to school. They go to kindergarten, they're now in school every single day and kind of the social situation changes for kids. It's hard to discern what really is teasing as a new mm -hmm. social construct, as a form of communication, and when does that cross the line to really being bullying? And, and how how do you teach your child to deal with teasing? It depends on the relationship that you have with the person who is teasing you. And I think we need to talk to our kids about what they feel comfortable with, that they can be self-assertive, to give them permission to say, no, I don't like it when you call me that name. Talking about middle schoolers, this is such a transition age for kids going into middle school. It may become more malicious. Why is it such a problem for this age group? It's when you look at the graph, it, it starts very young. Middle school is where it peaks. Middle school is one of the most challenging transitions from elementary school where you were kind of like a family with one teacher and all of a sudden you've got all different teachers and different schools coming together and the bullying just really increases in intensity and the cyberbullying mm -hmm. has just caused unimagined levels of cruelty leading to suicide. What do you hear from parents and from kids middle school? school aged as far as the cyberbullying goes? It's bad. Um, it's really intense. I think there's more apps that give you a cloak of anonymity, which as we experience as adults with trolling and mean things that we see online, that is just ramped up when you when you have that cloak of invisibility. So, uh, you know, I think that this is this is one time when kids will come to me and, and they will almost ask permission. Can I, can I please put my phone away? Is that okay if I don't watch anymore? And that's something that parents really need to be in tune to. What if a parent suspects their child is the bully? What should they do? Well, the first thing is to not start out in a judgmental way. Because most kids who are bulliers are doing it out of some kind of personal stress. So you need to start asking your child about what is going on in their lives. Is there something that's causing them some pain? Is there something that's causing them some anger? Um, what is going on with them? Because you want them to know that you're in their corner. And even if you're making poor choices, you want the best for them. And bullying's not a phase. It's not something that kids do and grow out of. This is formative for how they're 
in how they're interacting with their world and how they're interacting with their peers. And so if it does seem to be something that you're witnessing with their friends or witnessing with their siblings, get help. Mm -hmm. Kids need to be taught social skills. Kids need to be taught empathy skills. For, not, for just like that story with the preschooler, not all kids have that innately, but it can be taught and there's professionals that can help.